Hi. Tech Rabbit here again. Um, this is going to be a bit of a talking heads video going through some of the details around the Elgato 4K60 and then the uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black. You know, setup issues and stuff. And what we could do is we could have a look at the um, uh, 4K60 Pro first. And um, what happened is I just uh, put the card in and then started Windows according to the documentation. Windows should have drivers for this. And um, but when I um, put it into um, XSplit, connects to or added as a device in XSplit, then um, there was no picture from the device and the status of the device was no signal. So I messed around a bit and I couldn't really, I had, couldn't really resolve it, but then one of my activities was that I um, went to, um, let's see, downloads and then I downloaded Elgato Game Capture for Windows. So I took this one and I installed it. And um, then it suddenly popped up with a message saying that um, I should reboot Windows to finalize driver installation. And after I rebooted it and I went into XSplit, then the video feed was available in XSplit. So <laughs> which is odd because uh, ac according to the documentation, which actually I can't find the manuals on on um, Elgato's page for um, this card. It doesn't seem to be a, like a real manual or even a PDF file. Maybe I'm wrong, but I couldn't find it. Um, yeah. So as I said, the Windows should have the drivers. There's not nothing saying you need to install Sephir, but it, that, that that at least kickstarted, just kickstarted it for me. Um, and then the other issue I've been having is that um, uh, let's see here. Take that one. I've been using the. Um, the Hero 7 Black. And, um, let's take that one. No. Yeah, so it's a better picture to represent. Um, I was hoping that I could have taken 4K out of the camera live. Um, but that's now confirmed through the reading the documentation also that you can only get full HD at 50 Hz on the HDMI from. Um, from the Hero, which is a bit of a disappointment since it's a 4K camera. Uh, and then there was a setting issue, but that's for all um, heroes, so you need to actually go set the um, uh, live output state on the camera to live, so you can get it to work. And uh, let's, I'm sorry, I'm just reading notes here. So, um, you can find those actually in the instructions. So if you're using your camera with an HDTV on page 56. And then there was, uh, had an issue with output delay on the HDMI. So the picture was um, being very slow. Now you can see that it's actually quite fast. Um, but you need to take the image, uh, disable the image stabilization. And then you get rid of the output delay. A uh, bit of a gripe is that um, 4K 60 Hz recording is only available in NTSC video mode, so in PAL you get less. Um, yeah, and the biggest disappointment is you can't use it for live 4K as a live 4K um, video source through the HDMI, but it makes very good. Um, yeah, HDMI, like if you would uh, full HD um, output. And that's, oh, sorry. My fault, I forgot to put the battery on. <laughs> there, back again. 
production mistakes. Uh, so if you if you want to reproduce very good full HD, I think it's good. But um, the other problem I'm having is that if one um, sets the absolute maximum 4K um, video production, then you get this. Um, yeah. Basically, you set all the settings to high, then you get this. Um, yeah. To called mirror mirroring effect on the video, so it's uh, th this type of picture format. So one actually even has to switch to a lower resolution if one wants to. Act. Have a, a non warped picture style. Yeah, so that was just going to go through the um, two issues that I had setting up the system. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. I've had a bit of an unstable X split. Um, it's been uh, flickering when using the desktop sharing, but that actually vanished overnight, so I <laughs> couldn't fix it. Couldn't fix it um, last night, so then it, um, yeah. Yeah, then I had to um, abandon that, but then it fixed itself. Yeah. So anyway, if you uh, found this video, in, uh, as I said, Talking Heads video just informative, then um, consider subscribing. You know, hit the bell icon to get notified for more videos that are coming. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Ah, hi. As you noticed, the video was frozen there for a while. That's my... Um, uh, Logitech Brio 4K Stream Edition that locked up again, but I can't, don't really know, I can't really blame the camera as such. The um, USB input I was using is um, was connected to a USB 3.0 hub, and um, now I moved it to the um, one of the USB 3.0 ports on the motherboard on the computer. And um, it seems to be much more stable now. We'll see. We'll just have to continue using it. So, yeah, I mean, I knew it was a bit of a risk to take to put it on the USB 3.0 hub. I mean, it should work, but um, the, lots of people have recommended if one has um, you no know, cam input and stuff that one should actually put it on the on the one of the ports on the motherboard, and not not on USB hubs. But anyway, yeah. So, now, now I can probably say, see you in the next one.